Hello, my name is Artem Lukoyanov, and I'm happy to present our most recent work, Score Distillation via Reparameterized DDM. The work is done in collaboration with many amazing researchers, who you can see on the slide. Recently, the field of image generation experienced a significant improvement with the development of diffusion models. As you might know, diffusion models are capable of generating high quality and realistic images. Score distillation, at the same time, is a technique that suggests to use a pre-trained and fixed diffusion model to generate 3D shapes. On the screen, you can see an example of such a 3D shape generated with one of the pioneering works called Dream Fusion or Score Distillation Sampling. While it successfully generates a requested 3D shape, the results appear oversaturated and blurry, and they definitely fall short of the quality of the underlying diffusion model that you can see on the left. So in this work, we analyze the relationship between the two between the 2D diffusion model and score distillation. Our insights is that there is a problematic term in score distillation, in particular the noise term sampled on each iteration. We suggest a simple fix, and this allows us to avoid the blurriness in the results, and it closes the gap between the quality in 3D and 2D images. So how does score distillation work? First, let's take a parametric and differentiable 3D representation, for instance, a nerve. It is initialized to a neutral shape, such as a sphere or a blob. On each step of score distillation, we randomly sample a camera, and then we render the shape from this camera position. After, we run a random Gaussian noise to this rendering. Using a pre-trained and fixed image diffusion model, we remove the noise. In practice, however, the diffusion model not only removes the noise, but also adds a bias to the image that brings it closer to the desired prompt. Finally, we apply the score distillation update rule to modify the 3D shape. The particular update rule is derived rather empirically. And there are still debates in the field about the exact loss function that is optimized with the process. In our work, we suggest a new perspective onto the update rule. For this, let's consider an update step of DDIM, one of the most popular 2D sampling algorithms. So here, the horizontal axis represents the data dimension while the vertical axis is a time step of the diffusion process, with noise-free images all the way at the top and completely noised images at the bottom. DJM starts by sampling Gaussian noise, which corresponds to time step one at the, at the bottom. Using a trained diffusion model, we predict the added noise term. By removing it all the way, we should obtain a blurry image. So instead, we only partially remove the predicted noise. From there, we continue the process until we converge to a nice looking and sharp image. In our work, we notice that in parallel with DDIM, there is a dual process happening in the space of X naught of T, space of single step denoised images, while DDIM involves images from noisy to noise free images. The dual process is defined completely on noise free images from blurry to sharp and good looking. You can find the formal derivation in the paper, but the most important takeaway is that parameterizing DDIM to this variable ends up with an update rule containing kappa. And kappa is a noise term that we add to the image on each step of score distillation. In order for the dual process to match DDIM precisely, kappa needs to be a solution of a fixed point equation, which effectively inverts noise prediction of the diffusion model. It is very hard to solve this equation precisely. If we ignore the structure and we just randomly sample kappa from the Gaussian distribution, we will obtain a precise update rule in score distillation sampling. But what does it mean in practice? By sampling kappa in randomly, on each update step, we assign our update rule to a different DDIM trajectory. This leads to averaging the results across multiple trajectories and thus blurriness of the results. In our work, we analyze multiple strategies for solving the fixed point equation. We found that running DDIM inversion is the most effective approach. Indeed, as DDIM is a deterministic process, multiple previous works suggested algorithms to invert generated images back to the noise terms they were generated with. By doing so, our update steps are being assigned to the correct DDIM trajectories on each update step. This makes the process of 3D generation time and spatially consistent. This modification allows us to achieve much sharper and higher quality generations. While the solution requires running DDIM on inversion on each step, we find that only few inversion steps are needed. You can find more information about the work 
as well as comparisons, code, and 2D experiments with the following link.